So we're going to have another rant video today, uh, similar to when I responded to the bullshit that was Kokonight. Um, and this is about the Dames of Destiny stream that, I mean, it hasn't been a huge thing on the forums like it was with Kokonight. But um, it's something very close and important to me for equality's sake. And if you didn't know, um, Bungie and Deej did a stream with the Dames of Destiny, like they did the B Destiny bounty thing where they go out with a team, and if you manage to beat them in the uh, Crucible, you get a special emblem and stuff, which is cool. And they did it with the Dames of Destiny, which is an all-women's um, clan in Destiny, and they're kind of competitive, they're really cool folk, they're, they're really cool. Um, and some things occurred <laughs> that were not representative or of what I believe this community is really about. So, like I've said before, I believe that the Destiny community and gaming community in general is about inclusiveness. It's about acceptance of others. It's not just about tolerance, because I believe tolerance is just like, okay, I, I still don't believe in you or I just still don't like you, but I'll just accept that you're there. I believe in acceptance. Wholehearted acceptance. You don't give a shit about another person so long as they're good at the game. Um, and people came into the game, or came into the stream, um, and started making very hateful comments about women and how they shouldn't be in video games because they suck at them and blah de blah de blah And then somebody comes into the stream, I think it's a, uh, I think he's a competitive streamer, from what I'm hearing from the Planet Destiny stream recently anyway. Um, and he says, you can go suck my balls or something. And I think it was, I'm not sure who it was directed at. People are saying, oh, he was just saying it to Deej. But I don't think he was. He might have been directing it at the women in the stream, which I wouldn't uh, not believe. Uh, if that's incorrect, please correct me there, but also give me citation, don't just say no, he wasn't saying that, I need actual citation. Um, but then after that, it was just this mob mentality of, oh, if he can say that, maybe we can be abusive to these women. And it got worse and more toxic from there in the Twitch chat, and people started sending threatening messages like, I'm going to go and follow you home and rape you to one of the members of the team, and that's not cool at all. People might say, oh, it's the internet, they didn't actually mean it, they can say whatever they want, which is bullshit. That is legitimately terrifying for people to hear, and harassment is a real thing, digital or otherwise. So that is a very traumatizing and emotional thing to go through, to put someone through, and it's just, if it's not okay to say that to somebody in real life, that I'm gonna follow you home and rape you, why do you think it's okay on the internet? because they won't actually do it, because they're so far away, because you have that disconnect or distance? Bullshit! The internet and just all this connectivity has become a thing. It is a huge thing. Our life is interconnected now. Let you, whether you like it or not, you need to accept that. And you can argue with me about, oh, the First Amendment, if you're in the United States, you're protected by freedom of speech, and people will say, I can do whatever the hell I want. That's not exactly true. So I'm, I'm just going to give you a little bit of history lesson, lesson on the uh, First Amendment. The First Amendment applies only to laws passed by U.S. Congress, but since 1925, Gitlow versus New York, 268 U.S. 658, they've applied a set of rules where the First Amendment cannot protect, and it goes as follows. Hate speech. Uh, this is sometimes protected, but in the case of, you know, Westboro Baptist Church, where they just fucking harass everybody, it's not protected. If you are harassing somebody hatefully, so throwing racial slurs out, or calling a woman a terrible gamer, or threatening to rape her, that is considered hate speech and harassment, and is not protected by the First Amendment. Speech that incites violence or encourages audience to commit illegal or dangerous acts, like the one the streamer did that caused this mob mentality and hate speech to propagate. Those are the first two rules. It's a rule of seven, you can look this up, just look up uh, what does the First Amendment not protect, and I'll put a link to uh, the page that I found with all seven of the rules, but the other five rules are very, like, about terrorism and things that didn't really happen in this stream. But those two rules about hate speech not being protected and the propagation of said hate speech 
is not protected by the First Amendment, which is what this was. So that argument is moot. This was bullshit. Just plain and simple. If you were a part of this and or are defending people because they can say whatever the hell they want, you, that's bullshit. Your argument is as hollow as it is shallow. So the purpose of this video is not to call out the person or persons that did this. Um, I don't know what that streamer's name was that invaded their stream and said those things, and I'm not saying we should all go out there and uh, call him out and be abusive to him. That's No, no, that's not what I want. I want to ignore the shit out of him. I don't care about him right now. I don't, I, I really don't. Um, some things that they said in the Destiny, um, Planet Destiny podcast is that, oh, I didn't agree with the things that he did, but I think he's a really good member of the community. Bullshit. Just, if he did that, he can't be a good member of the community. He's not representative of the community that sh the gaming community should be, which is that sense of community. You can't be a part of the community and then ostracize a certain por portion of it because of their fucking gender. That's bullshit. And that's what I'd like to talk about. Um, this video is to promote that sense of community, to say that, no, that's not us, let's not be that, that's not what we should be about. We are about the community, we are about each other, we are about being inclusive and supportive of everyone in the gaming community. We are not about who's the best and who should be there. We are about just saying, oh man, good job, holy shit, that guy's good, you should go watch him, um, oh, you want to go do this thing, yeah, dude, let's go do it, oh, you're new to the game, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll help you out, it's, don't be so elitist, just be a good person, in general, and that's what I think gaming should be about, I mean, for me and my issues, it's a way to distract myself from the reality that is reality, and I can get into these worlds and immerse myself in these worlds and stories while hanging out with my friends and talking to them, and then talking about lore, specifically in this game, about lore and game mechanics and just everything. And then we also talk about other players and what they're doing, and we think they're awesome. And there are some members of the community that we dislike uh, just because content-wise and just the videos that they make and things. But we don't go out of our way to slander them or to throw hate out or to say that they're awful people. Like, we'll joke around, but it's... If we were to meet this person, we would welcome them with open arms. And that's what all games have been. They've been about welcoming everybody into the community. And I think Destiny has... It has that potential because you can write your own story in this game. And I hate when they use that excuse for the lack of story in the game. But you can. You can go out... Halo... But just Bungie games have always been about writing your own story like you would always talk to your friends about or at least I would always talk to my friends about that awesome kill that I got in Halo 2's multiplayer or that really cool custom game that we made where we glitched out of the map and I love that and that's what really draws me to gaming and this kind of community is because we can tell those kinds of stories. So please don't go out and find these guys or go to the forums and start flaming everybody else about how they're terrible people. Um, if you are going to try an argument, please be constructive and uh, objective about it. Uh, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been avoiding the Bungie forums for some time because it's just been a bit too toxic for my tastes. I've been going to Reddit and they seem to have more intelligible conversations. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, just please promote the community that you would like. A community that is non-exclusive, that is accepting of others, that does not ostracize people because of their sex, creed, gender, color, etc. It's just, it's about everybody and everybody enjoying that game or games. Just that kind of community is what I would like. A single activity that brings lots of people together, which can then extend to other activities outside of play. Alright, I've been Epsi. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Watch my video on Coconite, because that one was fun, as well as some of my other funny videos. Like that time I spent all my resources trying to get Capri Sting, and Capri Sting's not too good. Um, and also leave comments below. Uh, if you disagree with something I said, please, again, be constructive and um, objective about it. And if you agree with me, don't just pat me on the back and uh, pander to me. Just add to the conversation. All right. I've been Epsi. I'll see you next time.